Good morning. Just another day. Today we have a Del Vostro 130. For fix, it's completely dead. So I'll take the other camera and uh, we'll see exactly what happened. This is a nice laptop. So that's the laptop, it's a nice slim Dell i3 processor So let's check what's going on Let me get the charger Yeah, I have the charger here If I plug the charger and I have the blue light on the charger. Yeah, the charger is dodgy, but it's okay, it's good. I have the blue light on charger. If I plug the charger, the light goes off. And that's mean short to ground. That's what it's mean. So the 19 volts goes quickly to zero because it's a short to ground. So let's open this laptop and see what's going on the motherboard is short to ground i'm sure it's not a charging port but this is exciting you know you can be anything can be a capacitor short to ground can be a mosfet can be a lot of things it's exciting you know it's it's you never know what's there. Can be anything. Can be anything. I have no idea how this must be opened because I never open. I never fix a laptop like this But I think the back cover should come out on this way Yes, yes Okay Oh, it's a s Nicely motherboard Okay So we have the processor with the graphics together it's nothing like water damage or something else so let's check with the multimeter I have the multimeter on the corner let's check if it's short to ground so on the charging uh, connector we have minus and we have plus and it's not short to ground Okay. Okay, that's weird. Ah, oh, yeah, we have short to ground. Okay, so let me explain you the basic on a, on any laptop. Let, let me take a paper and a, and a pen. Yeah, one second. One second. Okay, so this is basically for any laptop. Like a schematic. This is like a schematics. This is like a schematic. So you have the charging port. Uh, you have the charging port, yeah. Yeah, plus and minus, yeah. And this is 19 volts. 19 volts on our case we have one uh, the middle pin which is to identify the charger but just ignore that pin yeah ground it's it's always the same on all the laptops so it's nothing to do with the ground the plus first go some uh, switches 
you have at last two switches there. I'll make these switches which are like some MOSFET chips. Like this and this. Yeah? So these MOSFETs are like switches. Let's say they are switches. It's exactly like switches, yeah? Because that's all what they do. Okay, so we have two switches which are they goes to from some power management chip we 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 don't care about that what these they switch what those switches they do is for example yeah when you keep press the power button for like 10 seconds one of these switches it's it's it's, it's open yeah so one of these switch will sh will cut down the power or if you have like overheating when your computer is overheating one of these switch will cut the power down from the motherboard to protect the, the protecting self the computer yeah so that's what they this these switches will do and after that we have the laptop we have the all the laptop so this the power goes through these switches and i will show you exactly what's going on let me check on the mic and I will show you exactly these switches. And most and, and most of the laptops are the same. Most of the laptops are the same. So let's check here to find the switches. Yeah. So check here. This is the charging port. You have the middle pin which is for data yeah so the laptops they want to identify the charger and you have the plus these two pins are plus and this is the first switch you see we have three pins in together and here four pins together and here a, a pin who comes from the the chip and the power the 12 volts the 19 volts comes here goes out here comes here here inside you see another four pins together and here are four three pins together and the pin uh, to order the chip the 90 volts comes here and goes out from here and here comes from the resistor and from here goes on all the laptop yeah okay so let's check yeah with the multimeter you have the multimeter on the corner so on the multimeter if i touch the the things see zero and it's beeping so let's take the ground and let's take the plus and you can see it's not short yeah let's go through over the through the the, the, the first chip is not short and let's go on the second chip and here it is short you see so here is short to ground and after that we have these resistors and that's mean it's short to ground after these two protecting chip the chips which are meant to protect the motherboard so somewhere in the laptop it's a short the easy way to find the short because it can be anything you know you have all the things you have all the things like the processor power supplies the 5 volts power supply the 3 volts power supply all the, the all the things are from from this 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 pin from this pin goes everywhere so it's very hard to find the problem let's try to f come with some sort of some amps to see if something is hitting up that's the easy way so we have the power supply there so let's can ground and we have 1.4 amps that's good that's good no we have we have 0 0.4 amps let's go high two amps so now in this moment something will, get, will, will be getting hot on the motherboard so we have to check exactly to see what is getting hot on the motherboard because something is taking two amps ah oh. ah oh. look oh that's 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 mad that's mad let's come on another microscope i think we we just find find the problem microscope uh okay you see this little uh little guy there this is getting very hot he he just burned bur my bur my hand so let's put the amps again 
Uh, no, let's put some uh, alcohol. No alcohol, sorry, petrol. That's petrol. So let's put some amps. Check on the. You see? It's dry. It's dry already. That means the capacitor is getting very, very hot. So let's replace that capacitor. Let's replace that capacitor. I'll take the power supply. I'll use a small nozzle. 500 will be fine. This is a laptop, it's not a phone. So 500 degrees is okay. Uh, let me switch on the microscope. Well, let me take another. Okay, let me use some tape because the battery gets angry and we don't want to make the battery angry okay now now we are more okay the capacitor is out Let's try to find another capacitor. Oh, probably uh, some laptop board. We we can find same capacitor doing same thing. Let's grab another capacitor from here. Yeah, these are from power supplies. Okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. So our capacitor is in place. Let's check if it's short, it's not short. So let's test our laptop. <coughs> okay, still hot. <coughs> anyway, let's test it. Let's plug the charger. Yes. Why we haven't checked the the short? Okay, let's check the short first. It's short anymore. So from ground and here. No, it's not short anymore. Let's plug the charger. Okay, the lights stay on. Let's check if the laptop is coming on. And the laptop is on. Look, Dell. You can see. So we have the light here, and look, we have the window screen. They make the light brighter. So this job is done. Our laptop is fixed. We will give, will give three months warranty on this laptop. Oh, the man has an overheating problem here. Okay, let's clean it. And this is the most well-paid job. Motherboard repairs. Because obviously the laptop comes dead <laughs> here. <laughs> okay, so you have two fans here. Okay. The laptop comes dead and now it's fixed.
And yeah. Sometimes it's easy, like now, you know? I love these things. When something is just short, and you have, you have to find the problem, it's, it's exciting, you know? It's like a detective work. Like policeman work. You have to find the problem. But those capacitors, you know, they, they 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 go wrong because obviously on the on the on the motherboard they are trying to make this capacitor smaller but have big capacity. When you try to do the capacitor smaller but big capacity, obviously the voltage will goes down. And over the time, the capacitor just get in short. Yeah. So this happened. This is what happened on this laptop. So if you have this laptop and you have this problem, now you you'll know how to fix it. Let me take the camera down. Because we have a lot of customers and... I know I look like an idiot, you know? <laughs> With that camera on my head. What you can do? My monitor? And my monitor just arrived! After nearly one week! Okay, all the screws are back. Let's check again if I... Okay, I found the charger. So the lights stay on. We have a light on the here, and we have picture. So it's working. It's working. Oh, my new monitor just arrived. It's a it's a Asus. VC239, it is just a full HD IPS screen. I'm happy because I just broke my screen last week and now I'll have a brand new monitor. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, just hit the like button and subscribe. See you later.